Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video hopefully is going to be pretty short. Uh, my last video I tried Madame Glam gel polish for the first time and so far it's holding up good. I'm only on day four but I really need to take my tips off and change out my mayonnaise. So we are going to do a video on gel polish remover. This is the one they sent me. Uh, basically says apply a good amount of this gel polish remover to each nail let it sit for about five minutes and then it literally says they should just lift off. It says you don't have to use a lamp. Um, it says you don't have to, what else did it say? No acetone, double bonus. So anyway, again, these are them. They haven't peeled or anything yet. Um, and when I used to use gel polish, they literally start peeling or lifting the next day. So I'm pleased so far. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks pretty funky. Hopefully this stuff works. It doesn't really have a smell, which is pretty nice. Forgive what my other hand looks like. Um, again, I'm gonna do Manny's tonight, so this other hand looks a little gross. This stuff is interesting. I really hope it works. to put a good amount on, so maybe I need some more on my pinky and kind of see what it looks like. All right, I guess that's it. So I'll go ahead and set my timer for five minutes, and then after five minutes, I'll come back and we'll see what's happening. Okay, so I started trying to peel it off and I actually didn't think it was gonna work. So I tested it out on the thumb and you can see all the little pieces here, but it all came off and it was not too bad. So you can see I started on this and I'm just literally using cuticle nippers to try and kind of peel it off. So, well, look what I did. This probably isn't the best way to do this. <laughs> um, it's not peeling off as easily as I thought it would. <clears throat> so, so that I don't poke myself again, which literally this is what I did last time. Not with gel, with dip powder. Dang, that hurt. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take it off without the video <laughs> so it doesn't distract me. And then I'll come back and let you guys know how it worked. Okay guys, so, bleeding stopped, crisis averted. Um, it's killing me that I have all these little pieces here, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So you can see I got it all off. So that's the good news. That's the one positive I would give this is that it did work. Um, you can see it really didn't work well. I would have rather it just peel off like the directions said. The directions made it look really easy and it would just peel off and it didn't really do that. Um, I definitely would not recommend using cuticle nippers to get it off since I hurt myself. Um, but I, I still accomplished what I needed to get done. Um, <clears throat> I would have, next time I'll use peel base. Peel base is just so much easier. I can just peel them off that way. I know that that works. Um, so it, it was tricky to get off. I definitely had, you saw with this finger, I kind of had to peel and if that was on my natural nail instead of dip powder, which is what I have on underneath it, I would not have kept doing it. I would have just soaked them off because I think it would have hurt my nail beds. Um, now, I don't know if maybe I did the gel on top of my natural nails. Would this stuff work better? I don't know, maybe. Maybe I need to try that sometime. So I don't know if, if it was so tricky because I did gel on top of dip powder or if it just doesn't work super good. So. Again, 
This was just my first time trying gel polish remover. Um, I'm not a huge fan, so I don't like giving negative reviews and doing negative videos and feedback, but sometimes it's necessary. You just need to see what works and what doesn't. Again, just because that didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for someone else, um, but this is just for the process I used. Didn't super like it. Um, again, I really like their gel products though. I really loved them and I'll use those again. I'll just use peel base next time. So anyway, if you stuck through this whole video, listen to me talking about this. Thank you so much. Um, please comment if you have any questions about this process. If you have used it and it works for you, it'd be good to know too. Um, Cause sometimes we all have different experiences. So again, thank you so much. Talk to you guys next time.